time a friend and a comrade even uh, mentioning the fact that uh, you know he actually referred to him by his clan name of Velasse. so uh, truly uh, an old uh, friendship there that uh, he reflects uh, back on so certainly we're reflecting on the life of uh, the minister uh, Jackson Mtembu minister in uh, the presidency all right we continue then with the reaction then on the story the uh, Pumalanga premier now uh, joins us uh, on the line. A very good afternoon to you. Thank you so very much, uh, Refule, uh, for being with us and agreeing to speak to us uh, this uh, this afternoon. We appreciate uh, your time in uh, this time of great sadness, no doubt, uh, for you and uh, your comrades. What is your early sort of reaction to, to all of this? Thank you very much, Flo, for having me yeah. and uh, good afternoon to the listeners back home. Yeah. To us as Mpumalanga, as you all know, that uh, Comrade Jackson, who's the minister in the presidency, he hails from Mpumalanga. Yes. It came as a shock to learn about his passing uh, in the early hours of the day today. And uh, on the same vein, we'd like to say on behalf of the people of Mpumalanga, we would like to send our condolences to his family, the Mtembli family, his children, and everybody who came in con into contact with him. We know him very well as a selfless, hardworking uh, minister who's been serving uh, with the dignity and ethical, who was very ethical and principled as a leader in the presidency. Yeah. And therefore, uh, the loss that we have suffered, it has gone uh, quite deep to us as the province of Mpumalang. Yeah. Uh, Premier, I mean, you know, considering the fact that uh, really you're working in the province where he's originally from, you, might, you must know, uh, you know, more uh, about him in terms of, uh, you know, his family life, in terms of the person, the man that, that he was. And I assume in the province you might have worked very closely with him. How will you remember him, not just as a colleague in the work that you perhaps worked closely uh, together on or the projects that you worked closely together on, but really as someone that you've known for, for, for many years? How do you reflect? On, on this life? Well, to me, uh, Flo, the question that you are asking is quite relevant because um, myself and Minister Mtembri, we used to stay in one street at some point. Yeah. Whilst I was growing up, he was one of the, our brothers. And uh, we, grow up, we grew up in front of him. He nourished us uh, up until where we are today. And over and above staying in the same area, we used to work together in Highfold Steel as colleagues. We served as shop stewards uh, in Numsa whilst we were working in Highfold Steel. It did not end there. We were both in the trenches of the African National Congress, starting from the uh, the, 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 the Kangala region right up to where we are today. Mm. Now, learning about his passing away indeed it has uh, hurt me so deeply mm. to a point that even up to now i don't believe it yeah. i have served with him in the legislature at some point whilst he was a speaker we have served as a mc he held various portfolios as well up until to a level where he was and therefore each time i would go home i see him quite often now to learn about his passing away today it came as a shock to me and uh, we are very much disturbed and devastated unfortunately it is god's will and there's nothing over and about that uh, that we can do he used to call me my sister i would call him my brother mm. and each time we meet you know he'll always be happy so you know i don't know what to say seated where we are yeah. I know him way beyond the work, way beyond the politics, and grew right under his nose as a brother to us. Now, uh, uh, Premier Mtsuendi uh, Tipani, uh, we are obviously in the midst of dealing with this uh, dreadful virus, the coronavirus. Uh, talk to us about you know, how the province has been trying to deal with uh, this virus. And now, one of the great leaders hailing from Mpumalanga succumbing uh, to, to, to COVID-19 must be quite a, 
a, a big story uh, uh, for you, and, 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 and it really kind of hits home, I assume, at this time. And, and no doubt you've been on the ground as, as, as the premier, uh, you know, as we've been fighting this, this virus. And, and, and really talk to us about how, you know, the challenges, the difficulties, and, and, and really now the fact that it is hitting home in, in, in most places. Well, the pandemic is affecting all of us across the country, as in Bumalanga as well. We are not spared uh, of such uh, cases that we are experiencing. They run deep to a point that even our families had to endure the very same pain that we are enduring today. Well, as in Pumalanga province, I think, Flo, we are trying very hard to, 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 to fight this pandemic. Uh, we've got our systems in line in hospitals. We've tried to make sure that we procure much PPE that can be of assistance to our front, front health care workers mm. and also to ensure that the message is disseminated to all the community of Mpumalanga, that of making sure that they uh, keep distance and then don't they don't go away outside their houses if it is not necessary and ensuring at all times that they wear the mask. Of course, um, that has seen us a, a, a quite a good spin-off in terms of the, 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 the pandemic growing in the province. Our numbers are relatively low, but that does not mean that we must relax. However, we are concerned about the, the, the recent development that we have seen as the province of Mpumalanga. Just today, I can indicate to you, Flo, that as Mpumalanga, we have seen the new cases that we have re re recorded. They are within a range of 1,353. Mm. And therefore, it shows, it tells us that the, infla the, 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 the the infection is just continuously spreading across our province as well yeah. as we are neighboring other two provinces, which is Gauteng, KZN in the main, and also our two uh, neighboring countries, Swaziland and Mozambique. And therefore, uh, Mpumalanga at this point in time, ordinarily we should have been the easily the epicenter of this pandemic. But because of we've put stringent system to make sure that we cap and fight this pandemic, we are seeing them... Uh, uh, yielding positive re results as we were encouraged by the president when the, the pandemic started that we must continue with the screening of our communities. We've not stopped on that program and today, uh, Flo, I can indicate that to date we have already screened about 11,460,367 uh, people within the province of Mpumalanga because some of them are repetitive screening that we conduct and what we what uh, what pleases us now the most we do have the testing sufficient testing reagents with us which then enables us to do a lot of tests as you can see now that more and more numbers are starting to increase more and more people are starting to be aware of this pandemic Right. Of most important is awareness and awareness. What makes us happy is that, um, you know, the president has done a good thing to say that we need to close our borders and concentrate internally and also make sure that the economic activi activity continues. As things happen that way, the issue of behavioral change, it comes automatically because it begins to knock sense in people's minds and yeah. they are now starting to take responsibility. Right. And once again, we want to encourage the people of Mpumalanga and South Africa to keep away from the streets. They go out if it's necessary, wear your mask and make sure that you, they, they use sanitizers at all times to prevent the spread of this virus. All right, uh, Premier, thank you very much uh, for giving us your time. And uh, once again, great condolences to you. I'm aware that you've stolen one of our colleagues, Spongile Mkani, there with you. Uh, please do send uh, my regards uh, there. Thank you for giving us your time, ma'am. No, thank you very much. I'll send, uh, certainly send your regards. And uh, once again, to the people of Mpumalanga and the family of Mtembu, our sincere condolences to the Velasis. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. All right. So we continue. The